In one of my tutorials, I showed how to use Reaper or any DAW with Icecast to send audio from your studio to the client and perform live mixes without using paid services such as audio movers. In this tutorial, you will see how to set login and password for each customer, keeping the audio streaming private. <laughs> Icecast is a free streaming system which runs under Linux and Windows. You saw it in detail in my previous tutorial. You can find it above and below in the description box. And you can link it to your DAW. I use Reaper with a very good plugin called Rearcast. Icecast is so reliable that major radio broadcasters around the world use it. BBC in the UK, RTBF in France, Radio 1 in Belgium and so on. In Italy, at the moment I am making this video, Radio Kiss Kiss, Roulette Miele, Radio Italia 60 and many others through the service called Freestream are using it. And again, Radio 105, Subasio, 101 and others belonging to United Radio use the same system based on Icecast. So there is no reason to doubt the reliability and quality of Icecast, but you should doubt who is crashing them. One of the great advantages of Icecast is the ability to set a level of privacy through login and password dedicated to customers. This system only allows the recipients to have access and listen to what the studio sends them, allowing the audio engineer to mix in real time while the customer listens. The Linux version allows the use of SSL security socket layer, that is, the use of HTTPS instead of HTTP, so the data is encrypted. From the next version on, Icecast will have SSL also under Windows. Let's see how to set Icecast to implement login and password for customers. In the Icecast directory, which you created following my previous tutorial, create a completely empty text file. Here, I call it my auth and by my choice I don't put the extension .txt, but you can name it as you like with extensions you want. With a text editor, open the icecast.xml file, which you saw in the other video. In the mount points section, create a type normal mount point. Inside it, create a mount name tag with the name of the mount point you have chosen in the settings already made. In my case, it's a slash stream. Then state the maximum number of listeners. In this case, don't limit yourself to 3 or 4, but put 30 or more. Because the browser listening and authenticating often opens multiple sessions for the same user. By putting only one or two, you risk malfunctions, such as the browser that keeps asking for login and password even when they are correct. Assign burst size and key size in order to reduce the user's waiting time on connection. Create the authentication container using the tags you see here with the type HT password. Inside this container, write the option name tag and inside it the name of the text file you previously created, in my case, my oath. Add another option tag that allows multiple sessions to facilitate browser activity. Its value must be 1. Outside the authentication container, create the last necessary container tag. It's the tag headers. In it you will write the two lines of code you see here. Save and start Icecast. Now start streaming from your DAW so the created mount point is activated. Click play so that the streaming starts and you can check it if it works. Open the browser and connect the server locally. Click on administration giving the administration login and password. Below is the mount point to add clients to. Click on manage authentications. Enter the customer's name and password by clicking on add. The customer is now entered. You can delete it whenever you want with a click. By checking my alt file, you will see that the user has been created and the password has been encrypted in MD5. Now you can test everything. Connect the Icecast server locally by giving slash stream. Now enter the customer's username and password. The player automatically starts with audio from the DAW. Now, you can give to your customer the credentials and your public IP, column port, slash stream. I remind you that if you don't remember your public IP, you can go to whatismyip.com. If you use dynamic DNS instead, give your URL, column port, slash stream. For each customer you will assign a login and password, 
After the session, you can delete the customer through the administration page so that he no longer has access and cannot accidentally join sessions not supposed to be his ones. I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.